So if you have a Dynaco preamp and you're experiencing hum or distortion on the outputs, the first thing you want to check is the output jacks for DC voltage. And there's the left. And there is the right. You see that 0.8 volts DC? That's going right into your amplifier. So if you take a look at the schematic, you'll see there's some coupling caps and there is a cap that goes to the base pots. So on the output of this coupling cap, I see the same 0.8 volts. So we're going to change the coupling caps and see if that solves the problem. Word of warning before you go to change those caps, double check your power supply. It's been off for 15 minutes and I still have over 100 volts discharge that power supply. Alright, I changed out those 0.22 microfarad caps at 400 with some 0.22 at 600. They are sprigs. Also changed out these little tiny electrolytics that they had on the base pots with some higher quality 50 volt type. Let's see if we have voltage on those output jacks. Okay, the unit's powered up. Let's check for DC voltage on the output jacks. There is the left. There is the right. Remember the right had 0.8 volts. Problem solved. Alright, let's take a look at the signal output of the Dyna PAS. I'm using a leader audio generator. As the input, we are on a phono and I'm monitoring on a scope. This is the left channel. My volume adjust. We'll set it about right there and let's go to the right channel and see if they're equal. Switch our probe to the right channel. Monitoring on the oscilloscope. It looks great. So I believe the PAS is ready to return home unless the customer wants more actions performed.